start from the 29 and that'll lose a couple with Rasul lost his balance and went down Akers will get it again cuts to the outside looking for a block can't get one nice play by Duke Edgefor he wasn't buying it this Patrick in the tailback he goes out in the flat Blackman under pressure falls loose Watch Egafor on the outside. Gets knocked down, gets back up. Great second effort. Knocks the ball loose. Blackman did, did not. So this is four down territory. Marshall drops back under pressure. Wake all over him, and he's sacked. That's what this Stephen Deacon's defense does. Outstanding, and their defensive ends are going to be the key today. Wendell Dunn, along with Duke Edgefor, who makes the play, he tees off. This is what he's great at. And the other thing, he can make adjustments on the fly. He can say, hey, run this play and run it like we did against Wake Forest two years ago. Ball comes out. J.J. Green able to recover for Georgia Tech. It's Georgia Tech. Young man out of Houston. Leaf Taylor, 6'4", 275 pounds. They're at the top of your screen. <laughs> Beyond 50 in high school, they just don't trust him from beyond 40 right now. Edge of four with pressure and in the backfield for a sack. Dangerous situation for the defense coordinator Jay Sawvale because well there Lamar. goes Jackson and he's not going to get away from Edge of four. Down goes Jackson Nation. He uses his hands very well on the outside, and that's how he was able to get. Four down front for Wake Forest. Grant Dawson, the middle linebacker, on this first down give and tracked from the backside. Duke Edgefor. First time we've called the all is better with the ability to generate pressure, but that linebacking and secondary core is not nearly as deep. Edgefor putting the heat on, and Cheek heard the footsteps, and he safely scurries pass rush. Right, it's just a speed rush. That's his favorite move. Slap the hands down and rip with the inside arm and speed to the pocket. He demonstrated right there what he really likes to do. That's a mismatch between himself and the offensive tackle. Last year in the secondary, nearly coughing up and forcing that fumble. They fake the jet sweep and Cheek is punished. Hit by Edgefor, nowhere to go for the heart. Once they get the first first down, they're going to go really fast. On the ground again, and nothing doing up front. Terrific play by Edgefor, the sophomore from Houston, coming off the right end. And the first sack of the day. Myers down inside the 20 yard line by Duke Edgefor, the sophomore from. Already going into this game for the Utah State offensive uh, coordinator. They were worried about controlling this front four, and obviously Edgefor got in there and got the sack. So they roll the dice and it converts. Now let's see if the Aggies can take advantage. That one is batted down right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, this looks like some good memories of this stadium in Charlotte. Starkle back to the controls. This one is behind Ford and he's swallowed by Duke Edgefor. Edgefor's entire career. He comes off the edge and in this case he catches Ford on that quick swing pass but it's it starts with the quarterback and John Wolford in a completely different place than he was a year ago. So Dave Clawson in his fourth season at Wake Forest the fourth season has been the season.